What's up? Um, what are we doing? We are playing. Look at that. Elder fucking scrolls online on this tiny little machine. Like, how fucking weird is that? Um, this is via the Xbox Cloud Streaming, aka XCloud. Uh, XCloud isn't available in the Philippines yet. You can subscribe to Game Pass PC and uh, Game Pass console, but you won't have XCloud with your uh, Xbox Ultimate subscription. However, you can, one, use a VPN to connect to a different location, or two, you can use this thing called... Uh, sorry. This, it's this one? Oh, sure. Anyway, it's called Better X Cloud. It's made by like a bunch of folks. And uh, they've added this functionality. So I'm looking at it through the viewfinder. It's a little bit hard. Uh, they've added this functionality that. There you go, look at that. Oh, you can't read it. There you go. My region is currently Japan, which is uh, a location where xCloud is working on. I mean, look at that, it looks and plays so fucking fine. Um, it's not, obviously it's not comparable to the native experience, you can just play on your Xbox, I mean I have my Xbox on right now. Um, but, dude, if you're just gonna do like a random dungeon or do some like farming side quest shit while you're at the office, this is so fucking insane. Okay, so how do we set this shit up? Okay, so I'm using the Gamma OS, that's why I have this whole uh, skin thing. Now we go to our apps and open your favorite. I can't read. Open your favorite uh, launcher. Uh, no, not launcher. Browser. Is this? We're using Edge. So this is a slow ass machine, obviously it's, this is going to be way faster if you're just using your phone or like a better emulation device. And then you go to, not here, this one, uh, you go to, yeah, better xCloud, just go to, be uh, I'm going to link this, you can just google this, I think it's the first or the second one that will pop up, uh, but I'll also link this in the description. And then you have like all the different ways to install xCloud. Um, if you're on an Android device, of course, you select this one. How to install it. Uh, how to install the xCloud app. And then it will redirect you to you scroll down to download on GitHub, which I already have opened up. This is going to be it. That's what it looks like. And then you just scroll all the way down until so it actually shows you what the functionalities are and shit like that. Um, and then you go down to uh, assets, you download this and install it. And then after installing that shit, you should have... Don't use Xbox, don't use Game Pass, but use better xCloud. So if you're on a location that doesn't support xCloud, it'll show up like this at first, but it's okay, let it load. And then there you go, that's my profile. And then you have this button here. This will uh, say better xCloud at first, but once you've configured it, it'll show you the region. So you can set the region here, Poland, or whatever you want, US. I had it set to Japan, controller friendly since I'm using like a, an emulation console that has an embedded controller like this. And I also enabled remote play so I can remotely play on my Xbox if you have an Xbox at home. Um, but honestly, I don't really see the point of using this anymore since I have this one, <laughs> since I can just use xCloud. 
And then you have uh, several different options here. Let's all go through all of them. You can set the aspect ratio. So since this is a 4x3 uh, screen, I've set the aspect ratio 16 by 10 just so uh, just to minimize the black bars but obviously you can just uh, keep it at 16 by 9 that's the aspect ratio of the Xbox you can change the sharpness saturation and all that uh, good stuff uh, you can turn um, vibration on and off which is fantastic um, this one obviously doesn't have vibration so I have it turned off um, you can set the uh, uh, the intensity of vibration and you have like the touch control layout so if, if you're just using your phone uh, you can use uh, I'm not playing a game right now but you, you, a bunch of controls here will pop up so you can uh, configure that yeah and then these are your stats you can uh, show them while you're playing and all everything shit like that um, I think you just go ahead and read it but uh, if you're not that much of a tinker just don't fuck with it and then just hop on in play whatever the fuck you want um i was playing elder scrolls online earlier uh you can play pal world or whatever is on xbox game pass actually you know what let's what's like the latest game here something that i don't have on my pc yet on my xbox yeah let's play forza horizon maybe there you go play yeah, there you go. This is Forza Horizon 5 on the fucking Via the Cloud on my RG353, this tiny little cheap ass console. Look at that shit. I'm playing a AAA title. So that, there's some stutters there, of course. Uh, I'm connected to it to the Japan server anyway. So it's not going to be the, the best experience, but you know what? Maybe someday X, X Cloud will. Uh, be officially supported here in the Philippines or it could even be just in Singapore that'll be great the good thing about G uh, I forgot what the name is uh, G Force now is that it, I'm not playing anymore I'm just talking <laughs> is that it has servers in Singapore so that you can actually play G Force now in the Philippines and it will work quite well but anyway that's for the Resin 5 Starfield, I think, would be like a good choice for this. And play. We'll once again uh, check how fast this thing loads. I think it's very de dependent on the game. Some of them like loads extremely fast. Power World loads, loads quickly, but the game doesn't run too well. Um, and while Forza Horizon is Performance is pretty good in game, but it loads a little bit slower. This one's actually loaded quite fast. So as you can see, those are the the stats. This is Bethesda's newest RPG, but I haven't actually gotten to uh, play this thing. Even though I'm mostly a sci-fi guy, but because I'm like, enjoying. Elder Scrolls Online right now. I think I'm gonna be spending my time on there, uh, and then uh, eventually I'll play this game. So I'll accept. Uh, continue. I think yeah. That's just I yeah. I have a game that's just two hours. I think that should uh, that should be okay in terms of just testing the game. We should have we should be able to run around. Dude, look at that shit. Uh, so I haven't really played this game yet to you know. Like, I don't even know how to do the jumper. How do you do, how do you do the booster thing? Oh, there you go. Why? Do you tap it? Nope. I guess gonna love that. Are these enemies? What the fuck is shooting? At? I don't think this is a gun, by the way. my back here. I have to look like, look on the side. Okay, okay, those are my guns. Very good. I should probably do this like that because it, you can't really see the the graphics from far away. 
not bad, right? There are definitely like stuttering and shit, but I'm connected to the Japan server, so it's fine. It's understandable. Like, look at that. Can I look at my guy's face? The problem with Overworld is everybody just dies so quickly and I have like two companions. I'll just watch them kill all of these bugs. What the fuck is that shit? Oh! Fucking well. 